once you start to understand the indictments, basically this is what they said. Pretend we're in Wyoming and we're standing in the middle of the prairie and that, let's assume for a moment that the fence is in the right place. Um, you're standing on this side of the fence. The government says right over there on the other side of the fence is this fabulous fossil. And they're basically saying that Pete and Neil and Bob and whoever was out there would go step over the fence, wrongly, knowingly pick up the fossil that they're not supposed to pick up, carry it back over the fence, put it in their car. When they drive from Wyoming to South Dakota, they then have conducted an illegal act, which is called the Interstate Transportation of Stolen Property. They get back to the Institute, they would make a phone call, send a fax, maybe, to Japan and say, we found the thing that you were looking for. Do you want to buy it? Well, that's wire fraud. And then if the Japanese museum were to purchase that fossil and the guys would put that money in the bank, that's money laundering. So basically, the guys were called conspirators who were creating this very elaborate scheme to intentionally steal things and sell them illegally. Hey, what's happening, movie fans? Golden Globe winning actress Tina Fey is reportedly attached to star in and produce a witch comedy film for Disney. The Rob reports that Faye is producing the untitled witch flick under her Little Stranger banner. Why many people may think that this project is a Hocus Pocus sequel, that's apparently not the case, even though Disney is supposedly working on Hocus Pocus 2. That's all for today. I'm Valerie and remember, failure teaches success. See ya!